Welcome to this tutorial video on the Hydrological Services TV3 precipitation gauge. At the end of this module, you should be able to do three things. One, understand the mechanisms for which we measure precipitation. Two, being able to perform routine maintenance on a TV3. And three, being able to wire a TV3 into a CR1000 data logger. The TV3 is the official precipitation measurement for the North Carolina Econet. The sensor is mounted on a metal post at a 1 meter height, roughly 5 to 10 feet away from the tower. The TV3 operates on the tipping bucket principle and is supplied with a painted metal bucket. A receiver of 200 millimeter diameter collects the rainfall, which then flows through the stainless steel catch filter into the siphon mechanism before being passed into the tipping bucket measuring system. One tip of the bucket will occur when the calibrated resolution of precipitation is collected, in our case, 1 one hundredth of an inch. When the bucket tips, it will pass the encapsulated dual reed switch assembly that detects these events and produces a momentary contact closure signal that is relayed to the data logger and precipitation is recorded. So the only maintenance needed for a TB3 is to clean the funnel annually. Here are the steps of going to clean a funnel. Step one, remove the three locking screws located at the base of the funnel. All right, so once you've pulled the top off, there's a nut inside the funnel here. You're gonna to wanna to unscrew that nut. You usually can do it by hand, but if not, a small wrench or a pair of pliers should be able to do it. So once that's unscrewed and out of place, and then you can remove the funnel from the, from the set here. Undone the nut, now we're ready to remove the funnel from the casing. To remove the funnel, you're gonna to wanna to pull the funnel towards the camera in this case, while pushing up on the top part of the funnel. Make sure to not twist when doing this because if you thread it, it won't be able to come out. So once the funnel has been taken out, all you're gonna have to do is place it, and at this point you clean it, you can use water, paper, towel, cloth, whatever. Once they're clean, you're gonna put it back together and you're gonna reinsert it into the gauge. All right, to reinsert, you're just gonna thread it through the bottom, pushing it through the top until it locks into place. Again, do not tighten, or twist, excuse me. You're gonna to need to tighten eventually, but do not twist. So you push, it'll lock into place so you can't pull it out anymore. Once that's taken care of, then the siphoning mechanism on the bottom, you replace the nut, hand tighten. You don't need to really forcefully tighten it, just hand tighten it. Once that's done, you can then just place it back on the rain gauge, lock the screws using a hex wrench, and you're good to go. So we're ready to wire a TV3 into a CR1000 data logger. There are usually only two cables. Now some stations they'll have a black cable and a white cable that need to go into a data logger. Most of the stations, like this one you see on the video, you'll have a blue cable and a brown cable. If you have the blue cable, brown cable combination, you're going to put the blue cable in digital channel C7 and the brown cable in the 5 volt channel. If you have the black-white combination, the black cable is going to go into C7 and the white cable will go into the 5 volt channel. If you notice on the rain gauge themselves, there are two cables going into a couple of ports. There are four ports on the rain gauge, two two pair connections. If you have to put wires in on that side, it does not matter which pairing you use, just as long as you use the two that are on the far left or two that are on the far right. Don't use the two in the middle together, otherwise you won't get accurate results. To review, the TB3 sensor measures precipitation at one meter above the surface. The sensor measures precipitation using the tipping bucket principle, where each tip creates a closure circuit that sends a signal back to the data logger. Each one of these tips constitutes one one hundredth of an inch of precipitation. The only routine maintenance is to clean the filter annually, so using a hex wrench, loosen the three enclosure screws on the body of the sensor. Then you're going to remove the nut from the funnel inside the housing. You can do this with your hand or with a small set of pliers. Once that's completed, you're going to remove the funnel from the housing by pulling the siphon inside the housing and pushing the funnel through the housing. Do not twist, though, as this will cause the funnel and siphon to not be reinstalled properly. Once that's finished, you can clean the filter using water, and a towel, or cloth. Once the filter has been cleaned, you reassemble it and then reinsert back into the funnel. Uh, through the housing until it snaps into place. Once it snaps into place, 
you're good to go. You can put the nut back on uh, the bottom of the funnel. Once the nut is back on the funnel, use your hand to tighten it, or you can use a small set of pliers. Don't over tighten. And once that's all together, you can put the housing back on top of the sensor and re uh, and close up those three enclosure screws from the housing to the base of the gauge. So when wiring, you have two options, the blue-brown combination or the black-white combination, depending on which cable you have at your tower. The blue or the black go into C7 for your signal output. The brown and the white go into 5 volt for the power. That's it for this tutorial video on the Hydrological Services TB3 precipitation rain gauge. For more videos, check out our website at climate.ncsu.edu.